Guys, today we are going to Epcot via the Skyliner. Are you excited for the Skyliner? Yes, finally, I could not wait to ride it. This is it guys, this is us going on the Skyliner. We absolutely love the Skyliner here. How does it feel? Are you finding on the Skyliner? It feels awesome. Feels very warm. Yeah. Just a quick one, the Skyliners don't have any air cock on. So we have got a, uh, a shaded one though, which is quite nice, especially in this heat. This is the takeoff, Liam, are you ready? Oh, you go quite fast. I know, I know what you do. It's class. Oh, I love the Skyline. I can't believe this is the first time this trip are actually on it, though. What's been going on? It's the car, though. It's because we've had the car, isn't it? If we didn't have the car, we would have been on it a lot more. You can see Pop Century over on your right. And on the left, you can actually see we're actually going to go over our car in a sec. Because we're literally just that room just over there, just over that bit. It's crazy how big Art and Pop Century actually are in the size of resorts. I would love to know how many people it actually holds. I just said to Liam as well, I said, have you ever seen Caribbean Beach Resort from a height? Because look how big it is, it's massive. Like it goes all the way over there. And then it's all of this. Let me know in the comments if any of you guys have ever seen here. It's lovely, isn't it? On Hollywood Studios. A lot of people don't know this, but Epcot and Hollywood are pretty much near, near enough. Ne well, not next door, but they're quite close. It's massive, isn't it? And look, it goes all the way over there as well. And there's Riviera, which I've never stayed at yet. Hopefully one day we might get a chance to stay at Riviera. And here we go. This is us coming into Epcot. You'll actually see Remy just below. Do you know, I just realised I sound like a tour guide? If you look on the right, you will see Remy's Ratatouille brand new adventure just opened early last year. <laughs> Sorry, I do, uh, I do get myself carried away. Doesn't look too busy, to be honest, but don't say that. Actually, no, it doesn't look too busy as of yet. Mmm. First full day in Epcot. Have we done? No, we haven't. Well, actually, no, we've done one day in Epcot so far, haven't we? Oh, I'm excited now. And here we go, guys. We are in Epcot. And today, we're going to be trying something a little bit different because I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed my vlogs when we did the Wilderness Explorer at Animal Kingdom. So today, we're going to be doing the World Traveler. Something a little bit different here at Epcot. Something I've not done before. Let me know if you've done it in the comments. We just thought, you know, let's spice things up and let's do a, let's be a world traveller today. So basically we've collected our scavenger hunt, Spikes Pollen Nation Explorer 2022. And the thing that we've got to do is we've got to go around all of the different countries. So we've got to go to Magnolia Terrace, Cocodan Garden, Spice Garden, French French Gardens, English Tea Garden. We've basically got to go around the whole of Epcot, which is lame, is going to be a lot of walking. <laughs> And we collected, and to be honest, the cast member was really nice because this costs $9.99, so this one's not free like it is in Animal Kingdom. But Liam's already got his free. Well, it's not really free, is it? You pay for it, yeah, but. The, fr the prize you get. Which we'll show you later on once we've attempted to do it. I don't know if we'll get it all done today because we've only got seven hours until yeah. the park closes, but we're definitely going to try. I think that's why they give it to us like first, just in case you don't get to complete it. And I don't or, think we will in one day. Or you're running out of time. And, so. and we found the first one. So we're looking out for all these little cute little bees. And the first one's at the English Tea Garden. Now I'm not going to be spoiling this for anyone that any, you know anyone that wants to do this. So we're just going to do a couple in this vlog. But so Liam, which one is it? Camellia. So this one is Camellia. And like I say, if you want to try and like avoid us ruining this for you, then maybe just skip ahead. But uh, we're not, like I say, we're not going to put them all in. We'll just do a couple in this vlog so then it doesn't spoil it for you guys. And basically, I believe it's just at the back of the stickers, isn't it? Yeah. So Liam's just going to peel this off and then put it on. And we've completed challenge number one out of 12. And Liam wants to phone home. Yes. Are you posing for a picture yeah. there? <laughs> Go and get your cell in, see if you can ring someone. Goodbye. I know, yeah. In, in the words of Adele, hello, it's me. Could you imagine you could ring people from home? That'd be amazing. It'd be amazing, wouldn't yeah. it? Like just ringing like your family, where are you? I'm in Epcot. <laughs> in the UK though still. 
We are well, we are in the UK. In the UK, you have a heat wave, so this is literally being back home. Well, this literally looks like where I live in Manchester, to be honest. Actually. <laughs> I know, yeah. <laughs> what part of Manchester do you go to? <laughs> well, the only thing you're missing is some graffiti. Uh, yeah, oh, there's me local, the Rose and Crown. And we've actually just currently came into this store. If you're from the UK, you know these are the best things you can find. How much are they? This is what me and Liam, 4 95 to be honest, is that bad for caramel wafers? Oh, actually they are. You can get them in home bargains for a quid. And that's usually a pack of eight. Oh, and a Guinness cup. A cup? <laughs> cup. My uncle loves Guinness. He would love that. Bless it was his birthday the other day. His 41st birthday. He's getting old. You never know, Liam. Our friend Ben could be working in here soon. I know, yeah. That would be crazy. I can't imagine Ben working in here. I literally can't. I'm sorry, Ben, if you're watching this, but I just... I don't think Disney's going to employ you, mate. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> and our first ride today is Test Track. And bless Liam, this has been on his bucket list for absolutely ages. Oh, my God! Ah! Ah! Oh, my God! I forgot how fast it was! Ah! Oh, my God! <laughs> that is so fast. Was test track as good as you remember? Yes. It's good, isn't it? It's such a good ride. It's fast. I hope you enjoyed the footage anyway of me squealing. Apologies. If you've watched any of my vlogs before, just maybe have them down a few decibel decibels when you hear me go on a ride because I am a bit of a screamer. Right, me and Liam are actually, we've actually got a dining reservation now at Chippendale Garden Grill. And do you know how I sometimes say it is? The problem with, you know, sometimes with Disney of how we've got to book your reservations in advance this is 2.0 like what I was saying pretty much earlier in the vlog series or maybe one before so our reservation was at 16.35 because the ride was kind of like going down and it was back up and going down we're now late for our reservation and it won't even let me check in you can't modify it so it's kind of if this happens to you try, try not to panic the the team will always try and sort it but you basically get 15 minutes after at 16.44 and we've still got a bit of a walk to do before we get to living with the land and I believe they charge your card and um, if you don't well they do charge your card if you're late so like poor Liam he's behind me sweating the way there trying to take pictures I know I'm just saying to the guys this is the only problem with Disney sometimes is it feels like you're on a, an itinerary obviously you have to be I suppose with how busy the park is but it just it feels like we're you know Liam bless him just wants to take pictures and I'm saying well, I'm sorry <laughs> you can't <laughs> when you get our reservation I know yeah bless you and you have to run and then you have to get your Beyonce fan out I'm still trying to check us in Liam it says we're still too far away now if any of you guys have been watching my vlogs for a while you will know I've been talking about Garden Grill since November and I said the only person I would do Garden Grill with is Liam who we're with now and the reason being is Liam is a massive Disney fan no one else who I travel with would appreciate Garden Grill as much as Liam would appreciate Garden Grill so are you excited for Garden Grill? he doesn't know much about it apart from that Chip and Dale is going to be here and that it costs about $55 per person so <laughs> I hope he likes it and this is it Garden Grill Oh, I'm so excited. I think I'm more excited than Liam to give this restaurant a go. Oh, and we are sitting down. And the best way to explain Garden Grill is we're actually on a moving platform. I don't know if you realise this. We're on a moving platform and we're going to go through the world, basically. So we're going to head into the forest. And, yeah, we'll be saying goodbye to these guys. And we're going on a little adventure, Liam. Valley and food. And this is the menu for non-alcoholic beverages. And Liam's going for this. I actually said to him, I got this in January at Sinar. And yeah, it's... Uh, in fact, do you know what? I think I'm going to treat myself to it as well. Because you're only in Florida once. So I am 1 million percent more excited for this restaurant more than Liam. But you know, honestly, I just love all this. Just all like the foresty style things. It's cool, isn't it? Really cool. Uh, restaurant with a view like a meal with a view like that's what you want what i love about disney as well it's just everything's everything's just you, you're always doing things different like this is not just a normal sit down meal you've got loads of things happening while you're sitting down enjoying your dinner the best bit hasn't even came yet and we can see our first character yep in the background it's chip or is that dale no i think that's chip 
Oh, yes, by the nose. That's, That's what I've just been told. Oh, thank you. It's lovely meeting you. We've waited two years for this. Two years? No, oh, you've been with the kids. <laughs> yeah, because we've not been able to meet characters for so long. Because I know. Do the highs and now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Liam's getting so excited for Mickey. Bless you. Oh my God, we're not even going to have a chance to eat, guys. There's the dinner. <laughs> we're just having such a good time. Oh God. Hi, Mickey. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice handshake as well. Oh, <laughs> it's lovely to meet you finally. I've actually never had a cuddle with Mickey before because of the great unpleasantness, but we're here now. <laughs> And there's another one coming, but I think I'm gonna put. So we got these uh, drinks, by the way, that I said years before, and oh my god, highly recommend them. They're so nice. Honestly, them them pictures that we've just took with Mickey. Oh, mine's not melting. Oh, hang on, it's uh, oh crush it a bit. There we go. I remember when I had this in Sinar back in January. You guys may remember that vlog, them vlogs. It honestly, I'll never forget them. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Really, really, really nice. Mm. You get to keep the cup, the cup, the cup, the cup as well. Oh. oh, we're in the desert right now. Oh, do you know? Honestly, can I just quickly say something? And I'll talk more about this restaurant after. So many people gave this restaurant. Oh, there's actually a carrot coming. I'll say it after. D Dale, just behind us. Yeah, so many people. But so when I originally was telling people that I was so excited for this restaurant, so many people were saying to me online, "Oh, I don't think you're gonna like it, Dan. I don't think it's your cup of tea." Me and Liam are blown away. We've been, we haven't even touched our dinners. <laughs> it's been unreal. Honestly, it really, really has. We're loving this. All food has came out. Mac and cheese has came out. And some chicken. And here's Pluto. Hi, Pluto. Hey. How are you doing? How are you? <laughs> you make this food. Oh my God, he did make all that food. Oh, he dug it up. So maybe that's why it tastes like that. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm loving it. Honestly, it's really nice. I'm joking. Oh. And our dinners, and look at the scenery. It's so so nice. Me and Liam were just talking about how much we love living with the land. We absolutely adore that ride. Can't wait to go on it. Actually, you can just see the ride down there. Actually, if you look carefully, you can just see them down there. Oh, I'm so happy to be here right now. So happy. With good company as well. I'm going to tell you something that I know Nani has expected you would ever hear out of my mouth. Best meal I have had on site. I, and honestly, I'm not even winding you up. I said to Liam before I recorded this scene, I said, the other thing I'm winding you up. Honestly, I'm not joking. Some people online will put this in the same category as Chef Mickey's. And I was just speaking of, speaking to our server about this. Chef Mickey's is just like so loud. There's a lot of running around. In here, you get your own private booths. And oh my God, the character meet and greets. We didn't ever at a point feel rushed, did we, Liam? We could have literally probably had a full-blown conversation. Well, not a conversation, because obviously they don't respond. But you know what I mean? We, we maybe got maybe about a minute and a half, two minutes with these characters, and they wanted cuddles. It didn't feel awkward at any point. The views are amazing. Obviously, at the moment, we've now finished the going around, but the views have just been unreal. L Liam, do you agree? Yeah, I definitely agree. The food's amazing. Like, the food's incredible. The character interactions, like, obviously in the parks, you've got a queue to see some of these characters, but yeah, they're coming right up to you. You are in personal time with them. You get a good amount of time. You can have a laugh with them, like we were joking with them. Um, yeah, just really good. And now dessert has arrived, but Liam hasn't given me a chance <laughs> to take a nice picture. Go on, Liam, you do the taste test. You do the honours. What does it taste it's really like? Good. And let me give you a try of this uh, this yummy dessert. Ooh. It's very sweet. I'm not the biggest sweet person, but it's really, really nice. And we've actually just got Dale here. It is ch no, is that chip? Is that's it chip? No, that's chip. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm really bad. Oh, I know. Oh. Now. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'll remember this now forever. Do you want a bit of my cake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, you made this and it's amazing. Yeah. Very good. Oh. 
Bye. Thank you, enjoy your day. <laughs> hey, I'm awful. Can't believe I. Uh, so, did I get it right or wrong? Oh. I'm not a Disney vlogger, am I, guys? <laughs> we have no clue what's going on in here in Epcot today, but it is so quiet. Like, no joke, most of the rides I like, walk on. One of the things I didn't even tell you before is that Soarin' was a five minute wait or was it 10 minutes? 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes for Soarin' in oh, June. Spaceship Earth, only 15 minutes as well. So quiet. Bearing in mind it's a Friday. Crazy. I'm actually really, really shocked. Really, really shocked. It makes us think, me and Liam, in the next vlog that you guys will see, we're actually heading to, well, we're heading off Disney. We're actually going for one, well, for one vlog, we're heading over to do Kennedy Space Center, which is NASA. And, uh, and yeah, that'll be in, in your next video. But it was making us think maybe we should, because the reason why we're going there is because it's a Saturday, but it's a Friday night, and Epcot is dead. It's crazy, I just, I don't know if, I don't know if like, maybe the, something's happening at the other park or something. I've just never known it to be like this before. So the next ride, I can't believe there's no queue. So the next ride is Spaceship Earth. And here we go, Spaceship Earth. The first time for this trip. So where's Liam gonna pick? I don't think Liverpool's on here. Now nah, you have to pick Manchester. Eh? You've just glitched the system. You meant to click Manchester. <laughs> that wasn't even where Liverpool was. That's, that's really bad. You just pick North Wales. Do you know, I always find it really crazy when you're on this ride and I just think, I say this quite often on this ride, but I think it's really good for like families, adults, kids, but it's really good to really, like it's it's like educational ride, you really learn about where you've came from. So like it takes you through the decades, well not decades, the centuries I should say, of like how far humans have came and I just, I just find it really good. That's what I love about Disney and especially Epcot. So educational. So Liam, did you realize the Phoenicians made the ABCs? And that's where telecommunication all began. Without people making these type of machines, we would never have had the strong mobile device you have now that you're probably watching this vlog on. We're off the ride and we're by the bubblegum wall. We love Spaceship Earth, we really do. Sorry if I was on a rampage of like talking about the educational elements, but we just love it. We're actually gonna go to, uh, we're actually gonna go to Creations now because we, uh, are we? Hell yeah, I got you. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Bye. Yeah, we're gonna go over, we just met some lovely people who were, uh, who've just subscribed and stuff. But yeah, we're, um, how did he find us? Because you told him. I told him my name's Danny Dalamo, but he must have been, he must have searched us on Instagram. But anyway. <laughs> no, it's not, it's Dalamo UK on Instagram. Yeah, but if you Hit that follow button, guys. And Danny Dalamo, it'll come up still. Oh, will it? On YouTube, on Insta. Okay then. On YouTube. I never know. I literally <laughs> never know. But, oh, God, leave that COVID. <laughs> anyway, by the way, he does not have the great unpleasantness. Anyway, we're going into Creations, we need a Starbucks mug, but we loved Spaceship Earth, didn't we? Amazing as always. Now, I haven't actually told you this, but we've actually already been in Creations because I bought this phone case before. It's the Walt Disney World Annual Pass phone case, and it is so nice. I much prefer this. You may remember in one of my previous series, series, I bought a case, and it just wasn't fit for purpose, to be honest. But this is so nice. <laughs> oh, I'm so chuffed of it. But anyway, I now need a mug because I can't believe it. Oh, it's right there. It's literally this one. This is the one I love. And just while we're in the shop, before I pick these up, look at these. I love these. These like notebooks. Frog and the Prince, Cinderella. There's some frozen stuff down here. Oh, this is nice, Liam. You, you know, you could just have that in like your bookshelf and not even touch it. And Liam has got the map out again because we're on the hunt to try and do another one of these. And like I say, we're currently in the Mexico Pavilion. And here we go, the next one is at the Tropical Rainforest again. Did you knew, know that this existed? I actually didn't. No, fair. and exactly this is what I love about these world travellers and things like that because it really gets you around the park to places that you probably wouldn't even know existed if you weren't doing stuff like that. It's awesome, isn't it? Mm. Would I just walk right past this? Ex ex exactly, we would have. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you've ever been in the tropical rainforest. I would love, it's really nice in here. I would love to know how many of you guys have actually been in here. And here we go, 
in the rainforest we have found the orchard spikes pollen nation exploration so we've done it we found another one Liam I don't know if this is your first vlog of mine or if you guys have watched my vlogs before but I highly recommend go and check out the vlog where me and Ben did the wilderness explorer where we basically went around the whole of animal kingdom in 20 well in six hours I think it was and we basically explored all of animal kingdom and did the wilderness explorer in one day one of the best days I've ever had in a park because of this sort of thing we visited places that we didn't even know existed it was awesome and we had literally had one the best days I've ever had in a Disney park. Right, we're in the German pavilion and Liam really fancies the potato pancakes. So we're gonna get that, but we're gonna share it. Yeah, we've just eaten before, so we might as well share it. Yeah, I'm really, really excited for these. Obviously, I'll let you know how they are. But yeah, we, like Liam said, we just, we've just ate before. And <laughs> I think it's all the water as well. It really gets you. Actually, just a quick one in regards to water as well. We went to one of the quick services before and I think Disney must be getting told to like make sure they hand out loads of free water the guests because before when we were at one of the quick services we got asked quite a few times would you like more water would you like more water and then they actually gave us two free bottles of Dasani water which that's unheard of let me know in the comments if you've ever had that but it wasn't just us they were just handing them out to people who were just needing a drink it's a hot day today it's 34 degrees it's really humid so I think that's the reason why and if you go around most of the quick services they're literally saying would you like some water so I don't know if it's just just because it's so hot or, or whatever but but yeah um, just obviously like I say if you if you're thirsty in the parks make sure you drink a lot because like it's, it's really really warm and here is the potato pancakes it's not what I thought it's not what I what, what's actually the sauce on this Liam it's like onions and ham and stuff yeah, yeah. so we're gonna give it a taste test Liam said it smells like hash it does smell like hash so Liam you take your bit oh, actually should we just stand yeah. here and chop it up we're actually sharing it we're being tight <laughs> Well, no, we've just ate loads. We, like I say, yeah, we have just eaten mm. loads, so... So let's, uh... Yeah, let's give this a taste test. That's, that's so good. good! That's gorgeous. It literally is like corned beef hash. It is! Around the World Showcase, there's so many nice foods you can try. And this was $5 if you're interested. I'm blown away. Mm. Honestly blown away. And we're now coming up to that time. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. We're now coming up to that time of where the fireworks will be starting very, very shortly. You excited for the fireworks? Yep. Yeah, we've been looking forward to them very much. There's party downtown, someone said that you're coming by. Let me know when you're here, meet me up for a smoke outside. Just hope that we're still okay You always pick me up and let me down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do, damned if we don't Damned if we give in what we want And I always pick you up and let you down We're spinning around, losing our minds Damned if we do Oh guys, <laughs> hello. It's me from the future, hope you're good. I thought I would end this vlog, I did have an ending from Florida, but I thought I would end this vlog from home because I wanted to let you in just on something we have planned. It's not 100%, um, th a lot of things could change between now and then but I just thought I would just stick this in now because I thought this was a really good opportunity and we're just over halfway through the Florida series as well so I thought I would digress through the day as well. Firstly before we do digress the day I just want to say a huge thank you for all the support on the vlogs thus far. The support has been unreal. There's a lot happening at home. I'm having to like stand in the corner of the house because the house is totally being changed as for some of you guys will know why. <laughs> so we've got a lot of stuff happening at home home so I just want to say a huge thank you for you guys being patient and supportive. Our day in Epcot was what that honestly that day was one of the best days I have ever had 
in a theme park. It was honestly unreal. Can I just say something? Garden Grill <laughs> is like my favorite restaurant, honestly, on a whole of Disney property. If someone said to me, like a lot of you guys know, Captain Jack's is like my all time favorite restaurant. I absolutely love Captain Jack's. But if I had to pick between Captain Jack's and Garden Grill, it's bloody Garden Grill, I'm telling you. Because I just loved it, honestly, I loved it so much. I loved, honestly, it wasn't as much the characters for me. I know Liam loved the characters. It was more the food. I really enjoyed the food. And it, it was my sort of food, you know what I mean? Like, I really enjoyed, enjoyed it. The cornbread, oh my God. I can't wait to go back later in the year. Stay tuned for a trip announcement, guys. I can't wait to go back later in the year to just have that cornbread. Honestly, it was just, oh my God. And they just brought so much of it. It was so good. And then the fireworks show as well. Like Liam absolutely loved the fireworks show. He, he really, really, really enjoyed it. Honestly, we just had the best day. And just again, like honestly, Epcot, it, does, it gets a lot of sticks sometimes, Epcot. Like even between my friends, like, when like Nathan, like Nathan said Epcot was his least favorite park. Oh no, was it Nathan? No, sorry, it was Ben. Ben said Epcot was his least favorite park. I know, I know Liam says Epcot's his least favorite park. And I love Epcot. <laughs> and I really hope like, I know Liam after spending that day in Epcot, he really appreciated it a lot more. Like he really, really enjoyed that day. So it'd be interesting to chat with him again to see like after, after Garden Grill and after Guardians and after the fireworks, is Epcot still your least favorite park? It'd be interesting. Just a quick one, you heard us mention about a trip later in the air. We do actually have a trip later in the air. Now the, the details, it's all booked. Now it, this honestly wasn't me. Our lives are gonna be changing massively literally the end of this year like literally and con has never been on holiday he's not been to florida since 2018 and con really really wanted a last holiday and i came back from florida in june and i'd said to con like don't feel like you have to go back to florida don't feel like you have to go if you don't want to go you don't want to go and con literally was like no we're going we're going and one night i was in bed i wasn't feeling too good and he literally found some flights booked them booked the hotels and everything so <laughs> we're going back later this year in full trip details will be at the end of this series so in about like five or six vlogs time and yeah and if you're a patreon member all the details are already below so if you are a patreon member you'll be able to see them but it's actually not that trip i wanted to, to discuss with you to be honest it's more we have a Disneyland Paris trip booked. Now, this is a very short couple of night trip, couple of nights trip with Ben. You've Ben's been to Paris before. And basically, Ben's annual pass is running out. My annual pass was has already run out, so I've actually renewed my annual pass. So we're meant to be going. Now, the reason why I say we're meant to be going, I'm having a little bit of an issue with the annual passes with Paris. So I opted to do a direct debit scheme with Paris. And basically at the time of recording this, everything has been a bit up in the air. They're saying that I have to go to Paris to finish the direct debit, but I can't make park reservations. So I have to just show up and hope that I can actually get into the park after sorting it. There's a lot to deal with for the Paris thing, but Paris has two new rides coming out. There's a lot happening with Paris. So we have a Paris trip booked. We might be going to Disneyland Paris. So after this vlog series, the Florida ones, two or three weeks later, you should get a Paris series before me and Con head back to Florida. If it happens or not, obviously it, we'll get home vlogs instead. Me and Ben and Liam have a, contin a contingency plan. If we don't end up going to Paris, we're gonna do Alton Towers and we're gonna do the Harry Potter Museum again. But fingers crossed we'll get to go. <laughs> and I might even do a home vlog as well. Like I'm not 100% sure. But anyway, I'm waffling guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you haven't clicked subscribe already, hit that subscribe button. I just want to say a huge thank you to my Patreon members. Patreon members get access to early vlogs, early content and things like that. Thank you so much for still being Patreon members. This is obviously directly you guys. And if you'd be interested in Patreon, the link is below. Firstly as well, let me know how you guys are doing as well. Let me know how you're doing, how you're getting on, how's life basically. And make sure you tune back into next week because what did we do in the week after? Oh, we went to NASA. <laughs> so we're going to NASA guys. So make sure you come back to that. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog guys. Bye. Enjoy your day. Enjoy whatever you're doing. And thank you so much for being the most amazing humans ever. I honestly love you so. Thank you. Bye. Looks like we're going to be going in here. But if you actually come to this main, yeah, it's, down at the soaring. Yeah, it, it literally is soaring like you're sitting around. And we've just had our lunch and we met the most loveliest family, honestly. Just another storm update. It looks like it is going to really bring the heavens down. And Liam was just...